Okay, here's hoping for something interesting. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Well, it's actually pretty good, if not overly interesting. I still prefer the uh, Super NES Capcom intro. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> so, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I've only vaguely watched a couple of videos of this. I've never actually played this puzzle game. Okay, so... Let me just dive right into the arcade mode. How about that? Let's stick with normal. Okay, Ryu, chun Sakura, Ken, Morgan, Shanko, okay, then Donovan, and Felicia. Don't know exactly what each of the different gem... Oh, well. I guess I got Ken. Okay. I'm not entirely certain of what all I'm doing, but it looks like a fairly average sort of deal. This particular puzzle system works out. So I think I'm starting to get an idea. Okay. So if I do that, that will have a nice effect like that. Now I need sort of a red bomb thing or whatever they are. I'm not entirely certain what to call those. Thing. That works nicely. And I do believe that has won me the match. Awesome. I have proven the difference between us. You just suck. Or, you know, I just randomly got beginner's luck. Slightly better idea of what we were doing. Still don't want to use that up. Oh. Okay, they do cancel each other out. Good to know. Mind you, I'm still rather terrible at any puzzle game involving building combos. Especially building squares like this. Or, you know, tetrahedrons or things of that nature. Okay, get rid of that for now. I have a pretty strong feeling that I'm not going to get past, I don't know, the third round, give or take, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we won't even make it past this round, who knows. Okay. 
Is handy <laughs> immensely. That there. That's not helpful. That's terrible. Holy. Well, that's the thing that happened. Yeah. He pulled off an amazing combo, it would seem. No, I don't think I'm going to continue with There are other modes to try. And. yeah. That up a little bit. Okay, back to the main menu. How do we do on the rankings? Where are we? Hey, hey, we got first. <laughs> Not bad. Although, when you can get first place in the high score list by dying in the second stage on normal mode, that kind of says something about the high score list that they had prepared at the beginning. Okay, street puzzle. And that's probably about it for the interesting things we can get into, since we cannot do any of the versus mode kind of stuff. Hmm. Let's try she and Ko. I have no idea why, but... Oh, well, apparently we're in a mirror match right off the bat. And I have no idea what the difference is between this mode and regular mode, so... Seems that my opponent is immen uh, immensely faster, amazingly faster, however you need to word it, than I am at... Did, did I just go into, like, super expert mode or something? Okay, street is just mission mode, basically, or you just unlock stuff by playing it, apparently. But yeah, I'm already taking a severe beat down here. And yeah, in general, as I've stated repeatedly, I am just downright awful at this sort of rapid-fire you know, combo style game. I prefer to take my time with this kind of puzzle game and think and plan and it does not work out when I just have to handle this stuff quickly. And setting up combos is also something I'm just awful at with this sort of thing. It's much more my style to go small sections at a time and take out little things. And yeah, we could not defeat even one stage. Apparently this mode is how you unlock art, codes for hidden characters, and other stuff. And it has a fixed difficulty per battle, so... Yeah, I think we are about done here. So anything at all interesting in the options? Difficulty, damage level, game speed? Yeah, it's about as expected. So, yeah, this has been Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. It's more puzzle games with a Street Fighter sort of theme to them. I think there will be others that we will find of these down the road in future Lexi games, but it remains to be seen, and I don't know that for certain. Alright, let's see what Mega Man's bringing us today. A free pick! <laughs> well, Mega Man's feeling generous! Alright. Well, this is one that uh, Beld wanted to see. And it sounds potentially interesting. Adventure of Tokyo Disney Sea. I don't have the slightest clue what this could be about, but 
you can only assume that there is such an attraction over at uh, Tokyo Disneyland. Get where that dash was supposed to go, so I'm not going to bother including it for a while until we actually remember which spot it was supposed to go in. And that is Princess. No, no other name, just oh no, nope, but Princess of the Sea. Okay. Disney Sea. I, I think that's welcome to Disney Sea. Blah, blah, blah. Let's find out what exactly. Oh, we got a Princess of the Sea card. And we have an. Uh, Aqua Sophia? I am honestly not certain. Anyways, what are you supposed to do? What sort of game is this, exactly? Trying to make sense of words on the screen and having no luck. Well, that mentions a hotel Mira Costa, so that would be this big building behind us. I don't know. And this is... Pachone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh hey, the uh, foul came in with the save on the earlier translation that was Aquasphere. Oh, we got a Pachone card. So is this just hit button receive card the game? Oh, we got 30 coins. Okay. So there are other things to get other than cards. Mentions the R button, so presumably that will be like accessing inventory or something. But the only buttons we have are Hitting B to talk to people, A to jump. And is that... Yep. So it's kind of a platformer, and yet... I don't know if we'll ever be allowed to actually play for, like, more than 10 seconds at a time without having to go through yet another wall of text. First things like this we can skip. This is the gondolier who wants something, presumably. Oh, we just had to wake him up, I guess. And now we can take the gondola, and this is a cutscene, I can't move. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for 
popping in to tell me more things. Okay, who are you? We don't even get a name for you, you're just some jerk. See, I kinda like to play my game, not read my game. Card game, sure. Um, we, we did say, ah, uh, damn it. I guess he was asking if I wanted him to explain the rules of the card game. Oh, oh, maybe we're, we're, we're okay. We're gonna get to play the card game without having the slightest clue of how to actually play it. So we have all these different cards already. I guess that's our little water wand. I'll go with... Well, all the rest have only one star. So sure, whatever this is. Now we're in a card battle. And I win. Why did I win? It looks like it's a rock, paper, scissors game, I guess? Does anything happen? Yeah, I guess it's just rock, paper, scissors. And I won twice, so I am the ultimate victor. I have won forever. And now we're back on the unmovable gondola. I guess we're, like, paralyzed in fear. Is there... Oh, well, now we got more things. Yeah, there's a shop here, but I think we are drawing very close to our limit of caring. Do I even get a run button? Oh, okay. Uh, the R button is the run button. Yeah, we, we have just about reached the limit of my caring. There is not enough interesting happening here. No, not, not, not another card game, no. <laughs> Why is it even a card game if all it is is rock, paper, scissors? But what is the point of having different cards with if all they are is multiples of rock, paper, scissors. Yep, it sure is a shop with... Uh, seafood, pasta, meat pizza, cheese pizza, apple pie, I don't even care. We're not gonna finish this list, it's just... Various foods and nothing else. Don't care. This has been the adventure of Tokyo Disney Sea. It's not really been all that great of an adventure. It's actually been pretty damn crappy. <laughs> see what we come up with. GBA personal organizer. Seriously? <laughs> I only just recently uploaded, uh, whatchamacallit, the InfoGenius Pack Personal Organizer Collection, and now we get this. Oh, bad. <laughs> so we start off immediately with... Hmm, some kind of music there. And... I was gonna, you know, start off with a spiel about seeing how the personal organizer evolved from Game Boy to Game Boy Advance, but no, we were not given any kind of time to speak, it was just blasted in our face.
<laughs> what do we have? Pocket notes, that'll be... How to... T typing, how do. Oh, okay, we have... All sorts of options, that's surprising. Oh god, so you hit start to bring up a keyboard and then you type one letter at a time, yeah. That's amazing. No, I do not wish to save that. Schedule. Yep, zero zero two thousand. Zero zero zero, what? Zero zero? Sure, set up, can I... Set date time. Zero zero, how is that a default? Okay, what do we got here? Uh, which? Okay, it is month day, so at least that's nice. How far in the future did they expect people to be using the Game Boy Advance personal organizer? Holy freaking crap, man. You know, like, with Animal Crossing and other such things, they have an upper limit. So, like, I think... On the GameCube Animal Crossing, you can only go forward to, like, 2035 or thereabouts. Oh, and, and time, we... How do I... Oh, there we go, I just had to keep hitting right. <laughs> okay, what time is it? Um, no, who cares what time it is, it... sure. Yeah. Okay, now we actually have a time... Oh, um, today is still, um, time non-existent, year 2000. Um, yeah, apparently it did not actually take any of that into consideration, although I don't know why I particularly care. Get me out of here. Delete event. But any time spent not on that menu screen is time well spent, because it's not... it. Th there is no music boring into our heads. Okay, so... Yeah, it sure is a calendar here. Which looks identical to the previous thing. World time! Let's see... This one at Shenzhen? Okay. Canada, Calgary, and it gives us a locator even, set date time. Wait, what? Oh, well, I... that sure is a... well, yeah. I guess they couldn't... Now, I know that when emulated, sometimes... well... I don't even know, I'm not going to try and wrap my head around it. It's just kind of very stupid setting one time and then seeing where things are elsewhere. Yep. That's about all we can say about that. Get us out of here. Address book. Sure is empty because we have no <laughs> records, of course. Nothing at all interesting can ever come from an address book. At least not in a thing like this. Calculator... It sure is a calculator. And it has memory, and it's about equal to a calculator you can pick up for, what is it, like ten dollars? Very basic, non-scientific, anything of that nature. So, I, I will give it this, the world clock does work better than the world clock from uh, the last set of personal organizers we looked at. But yeah, that's about all we can say in this, which is better, but it's not to have that music going, let's get away from that music. Um, yeah, there really are no final thoughts. Does the calculator have floating point numbers? I seriously, seriously doubt it, Bells, although I don't even honestly know how to check. Okay.
Okay, let's try five divided by seven. Let's try three divided by nine. Seems to be rounding off to very low numbers. Yeah, it is rounding very low numbers. Any time now, Beld. Talk, do stuff. For the rest of us who are not programmers, elaborate. Did, did, what was the purpose of us doing this? Was there... Yes, does it have floating numbers? No, does it not? Was there any point to me doing any of that? Well, you do your typing thing. I'm just going to wrap this up. This has been the GBA Personal Organizer. There is... Nothing really to say, honestly. It's just a really basic form of the PDA, whereas this one was not ahead of its time, whereas, you know, the first one actually was. This one, there were actual PDAs available by this point, which were not incredible things, but they existed, so you would have been better off with one of those, and you probably would not be assaulted by music. And Beld's words are that, yes, it's doing a fairly impressive emulation of floating point map for a system that has nothing to help you do it, so they were competent at programming shit, it's just stupid to have done. I still have no freaking clue what he's talking about or why I bothered with any of that decimal point stuff.